Today we're in Manila, the Philippines, at the world's first Chinatown, also known as Binondo. There is a massive selection of food here with a mix of Chinese, Filipino, and Spanish influence, but mostly Chinese. This is really delicious. My name is Josie, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Let's go eat in Manila, the Philippines. Okay, so we've been dropped here at the Binondo Church, also known as the Minor Basilica, and we're kind of in the middle of literally everything that's going on right now, as you can tell. I've got the San Lorenzo Ruiz sign over there and there's just a lot going on. There's people, there's cars, there's buses, there's jeepneys, there's everything in this intersection. So we're just on the walk now down to Chinatown to have a look around there, grab some food, grab some dumplings, whatever else there is. But let's go have a look, let's start our journey. So I didn't actually plan on this happening, but I've seen a bubble milk tea place here and I'm craving a brown sugar milk tea. So let's start the video with that and then we can wander onto some food. Thank you so much. So I got the brown sugar milk tea. I never actually used to like bubble tea and then I tried this one and I like it. And I haven't been able to branch out since. So tell me down below, what's your favorite flavor of bubble tea? Cause mine's still brown sugar. The good one? Still definitely my favorite, yeah. <laughs> Delicious. We came here with empty bellies to have as much food as we can. So let's get going for some food. So we're just walking along. We just found a place that just had some like pastries in the front counter. So we're gonna try this. We asked her if it was a donut and she said no. So I'm not exactly sure what this is at all. Uh, donut? No. no. But it has some kind of glaze over the top and it kind of looks fried, it kind of looks doughy. Let's try it. <laughs> um, it does taste like a donut, so I'm yeah. not sure what the name is. If you know the name of it, tell me in the comments. But it tastes like a donut, a glazed donut. It's either really hard to chew or maybe a little bit stale, I'm not sure. <laughs> but there's plenty of them in there, which makes me think she wouldn't make that many if they were gonna get stale. If this is a little bit fresher, I think it'd be perfect. In saying that, it's quite substantial because it is so like, hard to eat and bready. Straight off the bat, we have been to Chinatown in Bangkok, and that was sort of more of the, you know, street vendors in the streets, every cart outside on its own. But here, I'm finding it's not really like that, as you can see, it's kind of restaurants. It's kind of lined on the side with all these different kinds of restaurants, but there's not that many food stalls. Um, there was a couple of things of fruit on the side of the road back there, but not really like street, street food, if, you, if that makes sense. Um, but let's go look for something. I think we were hunting for some dumplings first. Okay, so we're here at Tasty Dumplings and surprise, we've ordered dumplings. <laughs> we ordered fried dumplings. It comes with two, four, six, eight, eight dumplings. And then you have the soy sauce here on the side. So let's try these. I don't think I've had fried dumplings before, only normal dumplings. So let's give them a go. I like them, I like them a lot. They're really good. I like them as dumplings. I don't often have dumplings, so by no means am I a dumplings expertise, ex expert. <laughs> but they're really good. So when we got here, there was probably like one other person and now the place is packed out. So they must be getting the dinner rush right now. So those were some pretty amazing dumplings if I do say so myself. So right now we're just walking to place number two and we're gonna get something a little bit different obviously than dumplings because <laughs> we just ate them. Um, but right now it's starting to get a little bit dark. It's starting to rain a little bit, but people are still out eating food. We're in sort of not the most busy street but I think we're heading back that way in a, little, in a little bit so let's see what's in this one let's keep eating so we're just walking down this hidden lane but it's actually starting to rain right now so oh here we go so we've come to the lumpia it's new po hang lumpia house and we're gonna try some of this. We've seen so many people try this, so I think it's our turn. Let's have a look. So it was super quick to get the actual lumpia. I think they have them ready to go on the like table and they're just wrapping them up and conveyor belting it for when people order. It must be super popular. This was 100, well, 95 pesos, Filipino pesos. Let's see what all the fuss is about. So I believe lumpia comes in a fried version and a non-fried version. This is the yeah, non-fried no. version, but I actually tried the fried version in my last video. So I'll leave that on the screen and in the description bar below. Go check that one out. But this is the non-fried. So let me try it first without the sauce. It smells good. Oh, okay. 
I've never tasted anything like this before. I ever. I think it's got, it must have some kind of like, it's like sugar or something. I don't, it's really sweet. So it's kind of like, there's a bit of grittiness, but it's, I guess, just a whole mix of vegetables in there. You've got like the wrap, the soft sort of wrap on the outside. And then you've got the like medley of vegetables and soft but crunchy things on the inside as well. All right, let's try it with the sauce. There's definitely a sweet element to this. Like, yes, it's vegetables and yes, it's a wrap. But something sweet about it. I really like this. I could eat this all the time. This is really delicious. It's really like crispy on the inside, but also soft. That is so good. I've heard they have this often for breakfast. Obviously, people buy it at all hours. There's people chowing down behind me right now. We're sharing one, but like, I might get my own after this. Wow. So we just got here to Chuan Key, and the line here is crazy. It's literally out the door, around the corner, and down the street, pretty much. It's raining, the rain is pouring down, it's so busy inside. So I got the asado with the adobo egg, and I'm excited. I've never heard of that, never tried it, don't know what it is, but I think it's really local. I think it's local Filipino, so we're going to give it a go. And Michael got the lechon kawali. I've most definitely said that wrong, so tell me in the comments below. But they're both, I think, pork dishes. Uh, this one's just like more like a crispy pork, and the one I have more is I think of a traditional Filipino uh, food, but it comes with the egg. And I'm not sure if it's like roasted or not. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below. Um, but I'm gonna try it. I've never had this one before. So Michael got a calamansi juice. Oh, I really like that. It's like it honestly tastes like a lime. I think it's made out of lime. Is it lime? It tastes like a lime juice. <laughs> It smells sweet. It smells really sweet. Which is strange because it's pork. But let's have a go. But the pork is cold. I kind of expected it to be warm. I'm not sure if it comes like that or if we were just talking for too long before we ate it. But the sauce is really sweet. The outside of the pork is kind of crispy, but you still have the softness of it. Like it still kind of breaks apart in your mouth. I'm a little bit nervous to try these eggs though. I'm not sure why. They've just got like a ring of brown around them. I'm just, I don't know about it, but. Okay, it's a normal hard ball of egg, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so I've dipped in the sauce. I actually read a little bit about this in anticipation of trying some local foods. And um, it said it was a sweet, almost sugary tasting. Oh my god. A sweet, almost sugary tasting pork, which is like right up my alley. That's perfect. So let's give it a go. Okay, so let's try off the bar. It's really nice and I really love the sauce. The pork is so nice, it reminds me of like Christmas morning at home with my family. <laughs> like... Let's try without the sauce first. So I had like a first bite of that and it was like a lot colder than I expected and also there was like a bit of gristle in there. I hate gristle. If my teeth touch something hard, it like freaks me out. It's like when you're in the um, ocean and something touches your leg and you're like, ah! <laughs> That's what happened to me. That's Michael's dish, so he'll try it for you. Hold on. There's like a, a piece of gristle inside every single one of these, these larger pieces. Personally, I like gristle. If this was hot, perfect. But it's still pretty good like this anyway and obviously the sauce being super sweet makes it even better for me. The rain right now is crazy. Everyone has umbrellas. Everyone's in their raincoats. We're trying to get to the next place right now. <laughs> there's a lot of rain and there's a lot of scurrying along to the ah, next place. <laughs> so we're here at Wai Ying Fast Food. It must be pretty popular because we have been in this line for quite a long time. So let's see if the food is worth it. It's been a while. <laughs> but a whole group of like eight people just came out, so maybe this is our chance to get inside. Let's see. <laughs> and the line is super long behind us. We were so lucky we got here. I walked back to get Joseph because she was hiding under the uh, out of the rain, and we, st we just got here in time. There's probably like maybe 12 people behind us, so we did well. We waited for about 35, 40 minutes outside in the rain, so this must be the place to be if everyone else is waiting there as well. Now, I don't often, I must confess, eat this type of food, so I had no idea what I was ordering, but <laughs> the waiter definitely told me the most popular, which he said was the beef wonton mummy. So we've ordered that, I just went with what he said, and he's also given us some Chinese tea, I'm pretty sure, which is warm in my hand. Okay, so we have a big, big bowl of like soupy noodles, it has beef, it has wontons. It smells like beef, I think. Beef and water. 
But let's have a go, let's look at these noodles, let's bring them up, let's have a taste. So the vibes here are immaculate. <laughs> We're eating dinner and someone's on FaceTime with like their family probably <laughs> behind us. It's not like ultra modern at all. It looks quite old and a little bit traditional. So you're obviously coming here for the food. We lined up outside, everyone else lined up outside. So this must be the place of super good food. Let's try these noodles. Full of noodles, full of soup. A little dumpling in there. There's like veggies everywhere in there. And of course the beef, which is what the main thing that you want to eat out of something like this. And when it like lives in that soup, it just cooks in that soup a little bit more. That is so chewy. It is so super chewy. Alright, let's try the noodles. Not a heap of flavour with the noodles, but texture wise and consistency wise is really good and they broke apart super easy. I think you'll like this. Josie normally hates soup. We go anywhere like this, she goes, not soup. But we've got it and she's trying it. I do love noodles even if I don't like soup, so let's have a go. Oh, I like the noodles. I like the noodles a lot. They're definitely like flavoured, probably beef because it's beef wonton. I might try a wonton. Now, I don't normally have wontons or anything like that, so. Use a, <laughs> use a beginner spoon. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so I have a wonton in this ladle. It's surrounded by all the soup. A few noodle, noodles in there. The texture kind of freaks me out a little bit. I don't think I've ever had one of them. What do you think of it? The texture is strange. It's like soft and like rubbery. Well, not rubbery, because it's soft. I'm a little bit nervous, but... Oh, I don't like that at all. Sorry. <laughs> it's, um... Too chewy, I'm getting like bits of fat. So even though this wasn't 100% for me, I can tell why people come here. It is a very nice tasting dish. The taste is on point. We're gonna finish this off and we're gonna wander outside and we'll see you when we get there. So while the wonton beef mommy wasn't my favorite, I can see why it's really, really popular, but I have a sweet tooth, so it's time for something sweet before we end this video. Let's have a look. So we're here at Wonky Bakery. Let's see what they have. Whoop. Hello, yeah. Yeah, Alright, so we have a pineapple popio. What is it? Popio? I've never seen this or heard of this. If you have any information of what it is, it just looks like pastry with like a filling. Um, but I've never seen it before. This one's pineapple. Let's give it a go. Oh. Mmm. Okay. It's like crunchy and hard. I expected it to be soft the entire way. Like I expected the pastry to be soft. I expected the pineapple to be soft. It's actually really chewy and hard. Totally different to what I expected it would be, but it's pretty cool to just snack on. The pastry is falling everywhere though. Um, that's pretty good. That's nice. It was like 16 pesos as well, so pretty good price. So as you can see, it's almost nighttime here right now. We've been here all day. That's at the end of our full day here in Bonondo, Chinatown in the Manila in the Philippines. Some of it was really good. I tried a whole bunch of things that I've never had before and some of it wasn't my favorite, but that's totally okay. I've tried new things and that's what this is all about. Before you go, please press the like button on the video and subscribe as well before you leave if you like my stuff. If not, no worries. <laughs> if you like this one, I know you're gonna love the one that's on the screen right now. I tried some other food at a local Filipino market here in Manila. So watch that one next and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>